Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this wreath for the 4th of July. And I use very inexpensive items. I bought most of my stuff at the dollar store. So it's a pretty inexpensive wreath. I'm going to start with this garden hoop and also clothespins. Uh, the paint that I'm going to be using is Admiral Blue, Red Apple, and Snow White. And also some paint brushes. I'm going to use two, my hand glue gun, scissors, ribbon, and this other fabric that I had left from a, from a craft that I had, so I had a whole roll. I'm going to start by painting my clothespins, and I'm going to paint the whole thing in the back and the, in the front. I'm just going to let them dry in between switching them from the back to the front and I'm gonna make sure that I cover every single thing because I don't want like any patches looking on the wreath so I'm gonna go ahead and actually my son helped me with this it was pretty fun I know he loves painting and he was really excited to help me make decorations for the house he usually is so I let him help me here and I just cover whatever spots that he was missing I also I also painted the wreath, the, the little garden wreath, and I already have all my colors here. What I did, I started placing them before I paint them, that way I could have an idea of how many I needed to paint. And since every every planner is different, every every hoop that you're going to find is different, I'm not going to, I mean, I, I don't re really know how many I <clears throat> sorry how many actually I painted but you can get an idea I just kind of mark them like oh this is gonna be blue this is gonna be white this is gonna be red and that way I can have an idea <clears throat> so I use a little bit over a quarter for the blue and I'm just gonna start placing them this way and make sure that they are aligned and that I'm gonna have enough space for the rest of them and after I finish with the blue, I'm going to go ahead and do the white and the red. And I did sets of four, which means I just did four in white and then four in red. And that way it looked like the stripes of the American flag. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my whole circle like this. And it actually turns out pretty cute. I, I really like it. I wasn't really sure about the clothespins, but I've seen it around. And I decided to give it a try. And it is pretty inexpensive. And it looks awesome, especially after the painted, the colors, just they pop out. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I found this this hoop at Dollar General. I wanted to find the flat one. And I just didn't know where to find it. So I decided to go ahead with this and it worked out great. And to cover the wire, I decided to use the fabric. So I'm going to place it on the back of my wreath. And the reason for that is because I don't want it to overlap with the clothespins. And I just want it to look nice and fluffy. Give it a little bit more of volume. And that will make the wreath look bigger and nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and use my tool. You don't really need to use a tool. You can actually just use the strands that come off of the fabric. And I just tie with it or use a thread or something, a wire. So I'm going to be doing this. You can actually place it on the back like I did here. Or just cut the little strands indiv individually. That way you can control a little bit more how they look and the fluffiness of them so I'm just gonna cover the whole thing this way I actually cut them you can glue them if it's easier for you it turned out to be easier for me too so I mean it's fine as long as 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 it works for you just whatever it works for you I drew a star in a piece of paper I used it as a, I used it as a pattern but you can totally print it out you can use paint. I know they have a shape on um, paint for this, so it will be easier. And I put it on this foamy, uh, glittery foamy piece of um, paper that I had. So I'm just going to glue them right here. I didn't cut a lot. I just want them to actually look like big stars instead of getting a bunch of little ones that were just going to fade out the distance. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to add a piece of ribbon so I'm able to hang it. And this is what it looks like in my door. It's on the inside. But I mean, 
I was just trying to get a good picture of it. And I hope you like this tutorial. Um, I have another tutorials, tutorials for the 4th of July. Don't forget to check them out. Give me a like and share if you like it. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.